everyone back here with the Tamiya M1025 Hummer Restore Project. This is a vehicle I've been working on for the past a uh, little bit over about a month now. I've been working on this, uh, restoring this vehicle back to running status. And as you see, it's starting to look pretty good. Uh, now, I changed up a few things from the last videos. Uh, I changed the color of the body from satin black to this more traditional uh, military color. I went with a satin nutmeg. Uh, and the reason why I did this is because the black was hiding a lot of detail on this body. And this body has a lot of details from the body lines, the rivets, uh, the door handles, uh, turn it around here, the AN General logo. It was hiding a lot of that stuff. And so I decided to go ahead and change the color so the detail of this body can really pop out and be showed. So that's why I did that. But everything else is pretty much the same. I got the uh, the wheels and tires on there. Now I actually ordered some uh, beadlock rims for the uh, for the Hummer. And I did the uh, G-Made VR01 uh, three-piece beadlock. But I could not use it on these tires because these are actually a little bit smaller tires. Now, these are the rims are actually 1.9, but are made especially for these uh, rims to fit, or <laughs> these tires to fit into the rim. Uh, and I was having a big issue with trying to get the beadlocks to, to mount onto it. And so, at doing a, re a little bit of research, I found out these tires are like I think 1.55 1.55 so uh, they're just not was not gonna work for it so I sit there for days trying to fight with getting the B locks on there and it just ain't happening so yeah that's so I had to uh, end up using the stock ones but the stock ones were kinda of bad off and so I went ahead and used the ones from the uh, Tamina Yumog which is right up there and that's got the G made on there but Somehow or another, those had really no issues because the tire is a little bit more thicker and a little bit taller than, than the Hummer tires here. So that's what I had to end up doing with that. So I'll run the stock ones, which it actually looked pretty good. Uh, just got to touch up on the, uh, the, the wheel nuts here because I did paint them the same color as the rim. But as a few times of taking the tires off to get the bead locks on there, uh, I kind of stripped some of the paint off of there. So I'll fix those. But uh, overall, guys, it's turning out pretty well. Now, another thing that I had an issue with, there's actually two more issues. Uh, first off is the battery tray, uh, which I'll show you guys. Let me pull the top off here. Now, I'm going to run into the same problem I had with the Tamiya Unimog, is the battery tray here. As you see, it has oval shape type look to it. Now, when these kits came out back in the 90s, there was no LiPo batteries. So, they all had the uh, stick batteries, which is the nickel hydrate metal batteries, and they slide up in there. And a lot of my uh, LiPo batteries are in hard cases, square, and so I need to do some trimming to try to fit that battery into the chassis itself so I can run it. So I'll have to end up doing that, and hopefully it'll turn out okay just like the, uh, the Unimog did. Now another thing is the suspension. I, I've noticed uh, that I have a few bad shocks, and uh, I think it's this one right here is bad because, listen, no compression. There's oil inside of it, but no compression. But here on the right side, you hear it? That's a good shot. Bad shot. And I think the... So yeah, so I gotta replace the front shock here. Now, uh, I've been having a tough time trying to find the shocks for this typical vehicle with it being such a an older kit and more of a discontinued kit it's really hard to come by find them i have found a few but if you guys know any site that has the ta02 shocks let me know now i have thought about this right here the tamaya unimog which is up there has basically the same looking shocks as what the hummer has so possibly I could snatch the ones off the Unimog 
and used onto the Hummer. So I might end up doing that just so I can get this vehicle out there to run until I can actually uh, get some shocks for it. But uh, yeah, so that's the update on the uh, Hummer you know, Restore project I'm working on. So hopefully I would get this thing up and running soon, get it out there on the trails, and have it on the video so you guys can see this thing. I can't wait myself. <laughs> Alright guys, well thanks for watching, and I will check y'all out later.